okay, so all the characters that you that I love. I mean, did did you you created all these? Like, when did you like? Was it something you created with other people? Like Herbert, yeah. Venezuela. Well, Bruce? I'll just go sequentially. Uh, we were fleshing out Peter's group of friends, and I had literally just played basketball with this dude in Virginia from Maryland, and so oh, I just wow. started talking like Cleveland in the writers' room and. You know, Peter and Quagmire were in the scene and there's a lot of kind of rat tat tat, very quick paced stuff in Cleveland just and took a deep Seth. breath. And like Peter, Peter and Quagmire, both Seth. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Both Seth and then, and talking real fast. And then I just slowed it down with a Cleveland line, like something like, ah, sometimes it's nice to enjoy laughter, you know, just <laughs> random. And uh, so then that stuck. And, um, and then Herbert was just a folksy old guy that I worked with at a grocery store in high school. And I would imitate him back then with this old voice, you know, as if he's squeezing women's boobs as he's, you know, putting the groceries whistles. in the car. Yeah. yeah. Whistles. That, that whistle. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Um, I, I know I love the whistle like the whistle part of that is just like it's so precise and I was a question I was gonna ask like was that based on someone you knew and of course um, it had to be. sort of I mean it was an exaggeration but you know that, yeah, there's course. nothing folksier than an old whistle you know an old yeah, yeah. an old it, folksy pedophile it would, <laughs> now when you say that I'm gonna say this person's name I don't mean to connect the two okay <laughs> it was with the whistle but Dan Rather has okay a whistle. Oh yeah, he speaks. He has a he does he a, this whistle and the first yeah. We've done some bits on that. Alex Sulgan pretty much nails nails him. Uh, if you've seen that Family Guy bit or two, yeah. And I, I, by the way, love Alex Sulkin. The first, the, I think it was the first episode that Herbert was on, and I vividly remember losing it laughing because it was all the at the end of the episode when he left all the voice the voicemails, like the, yeah, the answering machine. The, and I'm sure yeah. it also in my head, I was like, what a, what a cost cutting way to, to just have <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> all the yeah. characters are frozen and you just hear, where are you? Where are you yeah. going? Like, <laughs> Your fat ass back. Here. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, so that, and then Bruce, like you said, that guy's all over the South any, any weird little kind of antique boutique, you know, it's, oh, hey, yeah. I, I, you know, you look over there at them trinkets. That one's yeah. from the Civil War era. It's like, oh, that's cool. Um, so. have, you ever, have you ever been out? Because, I mean, these characters are so iconic and they're so part of it. Have you ever been in a situation where you've heard just somebody doing a vo the voice or a catchphrase or like, you know, kids or... Because I, 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 I've heard people at, doing these voices or attempting them. Right. So, attempting um, them is probably better. Honestly, not. I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, from time to time, you hear it randomly. Yeah. And one one person, I think, pegged me as Cleveland, who had no idea who I was. He just, are you Cleveland? Like, Really? Just, yeah, that was years ago. Um, somebody with a very good ear, I guess. Um, but do you get recognized but, a lot? Because you're, you were also like, on, you're an actor, you're, you've been- on I don't get recognized for shit. And that's great. You know, like it's, um, you know, like, just hanging out with somebody like- but like, like going out with Seth Green or something at a Comic-Con, it's like he can't walk 10 feet and yeah. nobody knows who I am. And I just keep rolling. At first, I was kind of like, ah, uh, hey, you know, like <laughs> whatever. But, you know, I try, try being the writer. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> there, there is there is nothing there, there is nothing more um, uh, 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 humbling than walking a red carpet for a, for any kind of a ceremony. Yeah. And watching every reporter crane their neck and then like, yeah, so what? Yeah, no, and go back oh, no. like this. I, I've gotten that. They don't oh, know you got a line. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Same thing. Yeah. No, it's, That's it's fine really with me. Fun. Who, yeah, I don't who care. Who's the character that you love the most that you've done? Um, well, I, uh, you know, it was Cleveland. And now <laughs> I'd have to say uh, uh, Bruce, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I kind of I mean, like, I like him. Consuela was always funny to me, too. It was just like this kind of, Oh, yeah. Well, Consuela, I actually had a cleaning lady um, who would not do anything that you really act like. Can you start in the other room? And I was kind of like, no, no, I start here. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, OK. Uh, I'll go in the other room. You know, like and you just had to accommodate how she wanted to do it. And that's where it came from. And the beauty of Consuela is even though she's look, looks to be the low the low person on the totem pole, she's always in charge. Right. And, yeah. you know, so that's 
there's always something about a character that has to have a little conf, you know, little contrast to make them interesting or funny. And I, I think that maybe is it with her. Well, like when she kicked uh, Brian out of the house. Oh yeah, doggy afuera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like she's still running it, and, and yeah. I love when she she took Stewie. Like she just. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kept, she kidnapped Stewie. I mean, she was always in charge. It was very, very yeah. funny. But I, I had a like my my stepson. I'm divorced, but like we're, we watched <laughs> that episode. I'm just kidding. We, no, we watched that episode. The the Poltergeist. Yep. Episode of Peter Geist. Peter Geist. Yeah. And that whole, we could quote it with Bruce doing the, this is my baby brother going to be okay. And it's the whole, that whole right. thing about seeing a, walking past a restaurant and seeing a guy with There's, a hair like eating soup. Yeah. <laughs> of course it wasn't a restaurant's fault. But, but I, yeah. I can't remember the whole thing, but uh, it was like, I never went back. I mean, right. it wasn't the restaurant's fault. I just didn't want to get. <laughs> right. With somebody dying to get some information about their deceased relative. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 